Hey everybody, welcome to Celebrity Signings. Thank you very much for coming back. Um, getting there slowly, we're nearly up to date on t in terms of the autographs that I've received over the last uh, sort of six to eight months. Uh, so we'll crack straight on and start with this one, which is, um, I'm chuffed a bit, really pleased with this one. This is the incredible Desiree Birch. Uh, she's a stand-up comedian, but I, I, I know her best for Taskmaster. She was in the last series of Taskmaster um, and very, very funny with it. Uh, I sent her a private request. And she sent me this um, signed picture, which I absolutely love. It's a really, really lovely picture, and she signed that. And she's also put this note in, which is, which I think is fantastic. But dear Carl, thank you for being a good human. It matters, Desiree. So I think is lovely. Such a nice return. Um, she seems like a really lovely lady. So thank you so much, Desiree. Should you ever happen to stumble across this video. Uh, next up, um, you'll, you'll, if you watch my last few videos, you'll have known I, I, I've written to this chat previously, but I've written again. It is the um, former Welsh and British Lions rugby legend, J.P.R. Williams. Uh, I've obviously been a Welshman myself. Um, this, this chap is a proper legend. Uh, I sent him two pictures, which he's signed both of. Uh, this one here, uh, playing for Wales, he signed J.P.R. Williams. And this one here for the British and Irish Lions. Uh, or British Lions at the time it would have been. And he signed J.P.R. Williams as well. So, yeah, really, really pleased to get these both back from uh, Welsh rugby legend, J.P.R. Williams. Uh, next up was uh, another private address. Um, I, I sent him for a private address because I hadn't seen anything from him for years. In fact, I wasn't even sure he was still alive. It's terrible. Um, and then somebody got a reply from his agent. So he, said he is still signing through his agent. You don't need to go look for him for a private address. I sent two pictures. It's James Bolam, probably best known for the Likely Lads, whatever happened to the Likely Lads, new tricks. Uh, I sent him two pictures, this one here. Uh, which he signed James Bolam. This is definitely the better of the two. The other one, you can see the pen quality is not great. He signed it on his coat there. I think this is from whatever happened to the Likely Lads. This is from the Likely Lads. Uh, sadly, the chap who, who played the other character with him, whose name I can't remember at the moment, um, he's passed away. He has been for a few years. Uh, but yeah, really pleased, particularly this one, to get this back from uh, actor James Bolam. Uh, next up were a couple of returns which I, I didn't expect to get back, if I'm totally honest. Again, private address. I've been doing a lot of private addresses recently because agents are very hit and miss. And my TTM returns have been you know, through the floor. I haven't, I've barely had anything for a long time. Um, I sent these uh, over Christmas and got them back, as you can see, the 4th of February. And they are from the incredible Tom Hardy. I sent these to a private address and got both back signed. I think I may have signed, sent three, actually, and got two back signed. I'm not sure. Uh, but I got this one back. You can see here signed uh, Tom Hardy. This is from uh, his Venom film, from film Venom. Uh, and then this one as Bane from The Dark Knight. This is probably the better quality of the two signatures. Um, but really, really pleased with those. I'm very happy to add my first Tom Hardy to my collection. Uh, next up is a, a, a politician. Um, I'm not really a political person per se. I follow politics, but I'm not, you know, the, the, there are better people to follow online who collect po political signatures, should I say, than, than me. Um, but I contacted Angela Rayner because I, I don't know, I just particularly like her as a politician. She's um, the uh, deputy leader of the Labour Party. So I sent her a request to ask for an autograph. It was an email request. Uh, and got this in the post. It was an A4 sized picture, uh, signed at the bottom, Angela Rayner. Uh, so yeah, so added to the collection. Thank you, Angela. Uh, next up, this was a purchase. This is Nicholas Briggs, best known, I would imagine, to most people, or if you if you know him at all, uh, is from Doctor Who. He voices a good chunk of the Daleks and Cybermen across the New Who era. Uh, so from Christopher Eccleston onwards, um, <clears throat> he's got a website which I've linked to on my on my blog. Um, and I picked this picture, he's, they're not that expensive, it's about £12 for a signed picture, so it's worth it. Um, and he's got two Carl Nicholas Briggs exterminate uh, with one of the Daleks there. So yeah, new addition to the collection. I think I do have something signed by Nick Briggs, uh, which I got signed when I was really young, but God knows where it's gone now. It's kind of lost in the, the mists of time. So this is in the technically this is my, my, my first Nicholas Briggs for a while anyway, at least. Uh, next up, um, uh, for, for those of you who know, I, I don't want to harp on about the story, um, but this lady is incredible, she really is. Um, a few years ago, I met the fantastic Eva Schloss um, through sheer luck, really, more than anything. I wanted to visit her charity, <clears throat> so I found the address. I was in London at the time, decided to pop along, see if I could get some flyers, that kind of thing. Turns out the address I got wasn't for her charity, it was actually her, her home address. Uh, which I didn't realise at the time until I got there. Um, she invited me in. We sat and had a chat and a cup of tea and talked about bits and pieces. And um, and uh, yeah, so and I got this photo taken with her. Um, so that was that was really cool. And I oh, I, I write to her at Christmas time, uh, check she's okay. You know, just just say hello. Really, check she's okay. She's not a doddery old lady, but uh, just say hello. Um, but 
she's, her story's incredible. She survived um, Auschwitz, uh, survived the, the Holocaust, um, and, and is actually the stepsister uh, steps, yeah, stepsister of Anne Frank, who wrote the uh, Diary of Anne Frank. So incredible story of her life. Um, I sent her uh, a letter, and she wrote back and put, "Dear Carl, it was so nice having met you. I hope you're keeping well. With best wishes, Eva Schloss." So uh, lovely lady, and really pleased to add that to my collection. A couple of signed books here. These are charity bookshop purchases. Not that expensive. First one is Louis Saha. I uh, used to play for Manchester United. Didn't have him in my collection. He's written a book, Inside the Box, Reflections of a Life as a Premier League Footballer. Uh, so I purchased this. I think it's about £8. <clears throat> really cheap. And inside, you can see here, he's signed the title page. Uh, so that's a, that was a new addition to collection, Louis Saha. He he's, works in the UK, but he's not based in the UK. So there wasn't really an opportunity to write to him. So a uh, new addition to the collection there. Uh, and then the other purchase, I got them both at the same time from the same charity bookshop, was uh, this copy of Nicobobinus, uh, written by former Monty Python uh, comedian and director Terry Jones. I'm trying to boost my Monty Python collection as much as possible. Uh, and I saw this book on there. Again, it wasn't particularly expensive at all. Uh, so I decided to pick up a copy. It is dedicated. I've blanked the name out here. But it says lots of love and bobbiness from Terry Jones. Um, Terry's actually the only Mon one of the... Terry is the only Monty Python actor I've actually met in person. I've, I've seen Michael Palin. I've been to see the... I went to see the Monty Python show in, in um, <clears throat> the O2. But I, I, Terry's the only person I've actually met. Sadly, he's, he's now deceased. Um, but yeah, really pleased to add this, um, another Monty Python addition to the collection. And the final one for this uh, for this recording, um, from a private, I don't know why it says private channel. I should say private address, I don't know why it says private channel, that's a bit weird. Um, is um, actress Sophie Flack. She's, uh, she's done, done quite a few films, um, lots of like um, B-movie horror stuff. I decided to drop her a line and um, ask if it was possible to get a signed photo from her. And she sent me this, um, Sophie Flack. Uh, yes, yeah, so really pleased and uh, an, a nice addition to the kind of B-movie horror collection bit of my, of my overall collection. And that's it for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching, as always. Please do all the usual youtube -y stuff and follow me on Instagram and blah, blah, blah. It's all in the description below. Um, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks. Have a good week.